What is up YouTube? It's Robo13 and I'm going to be showing you guys the benchmark test of the new Mac Mini 2011. Um, I just bought this so it is September 18th today. I bought this a few days ago. Um, so this is the brand new Mac Mini. Um, I'm going to be running the Geek Bench benchmark test right here and then I'm going to be comparing it as you guys can see right here with the other types of Macs out there. So you guys can see the, the differences and which one is better uh, compared to the Geek Bench benchmark test. Alright, and I'm starting the benchmark test right now as you guys can tell and I will come back when this is close to being done. And I did want to mention that this is the base model of the Mac Mini. This is the $599 one. So it's got right up here, I will show you guys about this Mac. The processor is the 2.3 gigahertz Intel Core i5 processor. It's got 2 gigs of RAM at the 1333 megahertz DDR3 uh, chips inside of it. And I did just order two 4 gigabyte ones, so I'll be having 8 gigabytes of RAM put into this. And I will do another benchmark test once I get that installed to show you guys what that's all about. So this is just the base model. I have been messing around with it for a few days, and I've installed a few uh, extra items down there, as you guys can tell. But up here. You can tell that I'm running 10.7.1, which is the newest version of Lion. They do have 10.7.2, which is uh, only available for the Mac developers, which I don't have. I have a iOS developer account, not a Mac developer account, so I won't be able to review that for you guys. But I do have the newest version of Lion available for the uh, consumer market, so I will be doing reviews on this. And this benchmark test is almost done, so I will be right back when this is almost done. Okay, now as you guys can tell, this is done, and I got a score of 5,891. Now, what the, what this score means is that it took all of these different tests that it ran on on the, on the processing speed, how it can uh, determine different files and everything, pretty much every test you could possibly think of, and it gives it an overall score. And now what this does, and then this chart over here, this compares it to every other Mac that's out there on what their benchmark test scores on this program is. So we got... 5,891 on the new Mac Mini, so I'm going to scroll up to where that is about the same number, which is right above here. So this score right here gets a better score than all of these, whoops, this gets a better score than all of these below it. So it'll be right in between here. So right in between the new, uh, right below the new MacBook Pro 13 inch early 2011 one, but right above the iMac of 2010. So this score considers the I, the Mac Mini, the brand new Mac Mini, a little bit better than the iMac 2010, which is a which is pretty cool for a $600 computer. Um, it isn't as good as the MacBook Pro 15-inch early 2010, but just barely, as you guys can tell right there, just a few different points differential between the two. Um, and most of these up here, these are all the mid-2010 to 2011 uh, versions of the Mac. The Mac uh, here's the Mac Mini. And so this got a 6,472. So this is just a basic test. It's not a guaranteed uh, and most accurate test because right here there's a Mac Mini that got 6,472 and mine only got 5,891. So these numbers might not mean a whole lot and you, you'll probably get different numbers if you run different tests, but this is just a base score. So according to this, this is better than most of the MacBook Pros. So here's the MacBook Pro 13 inch early 2011 and the Mac Mini scores well above that. Uh, by a few hundred points right there. So this is just a benchmark test of the new Mac Mini. Once I put the new 8 gigabytes of RAM chips into the Mac Mini, I'll be doing another one of these benchmark tests and see how it scores, and I'll let you guys know. Oh, and I just did notice that this is the 2.5 gigahertz model right here, and I have the 2.3 gigahertz model, so that might make a big difference uh, right there, which it obviously does. So when I put the, the new 8 gigabytes of RAM, I'll be doing a new test, and hopefully I score better than this and a few better than these other MacBook Pros up here as well. So I hope you guys like this kind of video. I will be doing more reviews on the Mac Mini and the new 10.7.1 uh, Lion, and, and hopefully when the new Lions come out, I'll be doing more and more reviews on that as well. Just post a comment down below and let me know what you guys think. Um, if you do guys do like this video, please hit the like button down below, and it'll help me out a ton. It only takes you guys a second. And if you haven't already, please hit the subscribe button right above. Uh, anytime you guys log into YouTube, it'll my videos will show up right on your YouTube homepage, and you guys won't have to search for me or anything. It'll just show up right there. So I hope you guys like this video. Uh, remember to comment, like the video, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. All right? Thanks, guys.